folks. Now, this is our lucky day. We're sitting here. Hey, buddy. We're sitting here walking along. And this young lady is here getting mangoes out of this mango tree. Because there's mangoes everywhere up there. And look at there. Boom. Oh, the mangoes. Yeah, good job. <laughs> so, folks, these are beautiful, beautiful ripe mangoes. There you go. Thank you very much for the mangoes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. And, folks, they, they just gave us a stalk of mangoes. So, thank you so much. That, that was so nice. Such a nice lady. So, I just want to say thanks. If I didn't mind, I'm so excited about that mango. So, thank you very much, doll. Thank you. Yeah, folks, just me and Fatima are taking a walk but now she's complaining because she's got to carry this big stalk of mangoes but you know what it's so cute just take a look at her she got to carry this stalk of mangoes all the way to Barreto and back <laughs> it's okay baby yeah so I I just reached and I grabbed the cell phone we're back on the GoPro now, but yeah. So nice of that lady. And there were so many damn mangoes up in that tree. That's, I mean, I'm sure, you know, they're selling the mangoes, what have you, but we got us some fresh, and these are beautiful mangoes. Yeah, it's big. Yeah, those are fresh, big, ripe. They're, well, they're not the ripe kind, but they're green ripe. They're ready to go. Those are more pretty than you see over here in the market. Straight off the tree. So it was very nice of her to uh, to do that for us. And we're just taking a walk, folks. We're gonna go pick up some chicken. So we got vegetables left over from Subic Town. But we don't have any meat to put on the grill. It's a beautiful day, so we figured we'd stretch it out. And Forrest G's chilling with Faye. They were watching some movie about, uh, what was it, about rattlesnakes or something? Fatima pulls up to all these B movies. You know, these low budget films on YouTube. But the, the one she pulled up earlier today was about a dragon. It was actually pretty interesting, right? Yeah. And then she pulls one up about rattlesnakes. I don't even know how she finds these things. They're complete movies, but they're uh, low budget. They're low budget flicks, anyhow. So we figured that we'd just take a little walk, pick up this chicken, stretch it out a little bit. And we're gonna bring Force G, but eh, it's too far. It's a little bit too sunny right now. We'll take it for his walk later on. All right, folks, I don't know where this video is gonna take us. But it started out interesting underneath the mango tree. So I want to thank everybody for joining us. Where'd you get them glasses, baby? Is that a Divi Mart purchase? No, eh? Huh? 100 Island. Oh, that's 100 Island? Yeah. Oh, okay, so you bought that from the vendors I was complaining about. No, I bought this one. Ah, uh, okay. All right. And we're back here at the petrol yeah. station. Take a look at the mountains. My goodness. Living in paradise. Come through here. This old dog. I don't know why he's laying down there trying to choke himself. He's got a big house up there. But I always see that old dog laying there. At night he barks, but he don't mean no harm. Can I ask you a question? Are those mangoes getting heavy? Yeah. How much you think they weigh? How many kilos? Maybe half a kilo? Yeah. Um, I don't think my GoPro weighs a half a kilo. Oh, you the one <laughs> well, then I got to carry the GoPro and the mangoes. That's not fair. That's not fair. Oh, <laughs> that's not fair. I just... You're doing good, baby. If you get tired, just swap over to your uh, to your other arm. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Guess who's carrying the mangoes in and the camera. So 
so what are you doing now you're just walking and looking beautiful over there okay well you keep up the good work baby you're doing a great job of that you go home you're gonna eat all these mangoes yeah. what are you gonna put on them i put soy sauce and sugar soy sauce on a mango soy sauce uh, in the mango i put soy sauce and sugar okay soy sauce and, and sugar yeah. i'm down with the sugar baby but don't put any uh, soy sauce or magic syrup on my mangoes please okay no, i didn't put a magic syrup i'm just put a soy sauce and sugar okay well i don't want soy sauce you do you want to eat yeah but i don't want oh, soy sauce three for me three for you okay or one for you uh five for me Okay, no. just don't put any soy sauce on my mangoes. Okay? Yeah. All right. Pass by the, by the bottling operation here. Try not to get run over. So we've been carrying around this stalk of mangoes. And several dudes have asked us one piece one piece you know give me one mango just one piece you know i guess i just don't have a lot a whole lot of sympathy for a grown-ass man you know what i mean it's not like kids ask me for a mango or you know a lady a grown-ass man tricycle drivers one piece one piece yeah, I'm like, fuck you, man. But then we started talking. I said, listen, a total stranger gave us these mangoes free from her mango tree. And so it would be ultimate it would be utterly selfish for me not to share these mangoes with strangers. Because she shared the mangoes with a stranger, that would be me. So I told Fatima, I said, look, right thing to do. Hello, gentlemen, how are you? Hello. Right thing to do would be to share these mangoes. And, hello. And take two home, one for her, one for Faye. And I'll just maybe nibble on hers. So baby, how many mangoes do we have? No, there's, there's more than that. Six. No, there's only six. All right, so there's six mangoes. So, folks, we're going to give away four. Pay it forward. I will keep two. One for her, one for Faye. I think that's fair. Because her arm is tired and my arm is tired from carrying these things. But on our walk, we'll give away four mangoes. So, let's just... Let's just... Uh, course we want to give them away to kids you know kids or pregnant lady that's that's going to be our target audience the <laughs> damn tricycle drivers get your grown man get your own damn mangoes oh. right, folks here at national highway take a left and come over here and check on my fish see how the fish population is doing what about a mango for this little boy and his grandma oh. yeah break one up break two off all right, we already got some candidates, folks, right here. Yeah. Give, we'll give one for Lola. <laughs> All right, take care, ma'am. All right, there we go. Perfect. Grandma and uh, and the little boy. So I feel good about that. Uh, see my fish down here. Oh, yeah, look at them big-ass tilapia. My God, it's huge tilapia. Nobody eats them, folks. They consider them sewage fish. Nobody eats some tilapia. There's some big ones. Got your mind's chomping at the bit to eat these tilapia. But she won't do it because they're they're from the river. What you what you think, baby? You want to try one of those fish or no? No way. But they're nice looking, right? They look nice. All right, folks, down the four mangoes. 
still pushing. AM Hotel at 93rd. And you got this Molokai Bowls. And there's a top deck. I don't know if it's open or not. But there you go. Something new in Barrio Barreto. Just open. Or it's about to open. One of the two. I'm going to take a walk down Beloit Beach. And I think I know exactly who we're going to share the mangoes with. Some friends over here. Hello. You know, when you smile at somebody and say hello, they just look at you in a mean way. You just wonder. You're like, I think the girl just passed us. Like, are you having a bad day? Why are you having a bad day? <laughs> Trying to brighten up your day with a hello and a, a smile. Maybe she needed a mango. She's, she's gone. Should have gave her a mango. Sorry you're having a bad day. Cheer up. Have a mango. Sorry we don't have any soy sauce. <laughs> Plenty. Oh, my in it. It's hot. It's so hot in the Philippines. I'm like, well, num number one, baby, you've lived in the Philippines your entire life. That's why, that's why I'm tired. Okay, but number two, this girl used to walk like five kilometers to school one way, every day. But now that she's got out of this habit of walking all this far. Can I rest the walk? What? Can I rest the walk? In my entire life, I walk, so can I rest? I don't have any idea what she just said. <laughs> I got no idea what she just said. <laughs> she said something about you're tired of walking? Yeah. Okay. Before what do you what you just said? Thank you. If you if you do a lot of walking, what's gonna happen? My belly. <laughs> what about your belly? I don't know, she, she's trying to claim something that if she walks all the way over here to Beloit Beach, she's gonna, she's gonna have a flat tummy. Is that what you're trying to claim? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Baby, I don't think walking to Beloit Beach is gonna... Huh? I mean, you already... I do that. Baby, you're already trying to kind of slim, but... I don't think you're gonna... <laughs> you're not gonna lose any weight just walking over here to Beloit Beach. Folks, we'll just give you a look around. You know, little little shops through here change from time to time. We're walking down Beloit Beach. Headed over to headed over to Treasure Island. It's just a beautiful day with the uh, with the shade here. How can it get any better than this? Pull in here to Treasure Island. And we're gonna drink one beer or we may just head out to the floating bar i was laid out i drank some beers this morning i was laid out in the lounger and yesterday i burnt my front and i think today i burnt my back Shit happens looks like the blue rock is still constructing their floating bar a little bit of wind but pretty much calm seas here on the bay today uh, no thank you my friend I'm still hoping those uh, those mangoes and we're going to head out to the floating bar and we're going to give these mangoes to these ladies on the floating bar you know brighten up their day look at this beautiful Fatima so pretty my goodness and somebody here is getting buried <laughs> Good, how are you? My goodness, somebody buried. Hello, welcome back, my friend. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Welcome back to Pussy Island. That's right. Folks, we're going to Pussy Island. What? Pussy Island? Yeah, it's Pussy Island out there. <laughs> Don't get jealous, baby. Here? Yeah, get right here. My folks, you might think I'm bringing sand to the beach. Hello. Good afternoon, my friends. You doing all right? 
Yeah, nice to see nice you again. Good to see you, my brother. How you doing, man? Everything I'm good? good? Everything good. All right. All right, folks. Oh, I'm gonna put the camera day. away because you know sometimes people don't want to be filmed when they're up in the bar. <laughs> We're bringing the mangoes for the ladies out on the island. Don't worry, baby. We'll let you. You, you can eat one. You can eat half of one, but the rest of them we gotta give to the ladies. Okay? <laughs> what? It's better to give than to receive, honey. <laughs> he's, back in, he's back in America, my friend. Yeah, he'll come back again. Look how clear that water is, folks. Next time I'm gonna swim out here. But yeah, no, he he's back in the U.S. Yeah. You don't want to bring that. Oh, no, you bring them, baby. You don't want to. The ladies that. already got your coins. Now they're gonna get your mangoes. <laughs> Now, a small miracle, not a small miracle, a rather large miracle just happened. My friend has brought me three cans of Bud Light. And you might think that's not a huge feat, but it is. When you've been years outside the United States of America, in every country that you've been to, there is no Bud Light. Holy my goodness. Folks, this is like Christmas, New Year's, my birthday, and I got to give give a big thank you to my friend for bringing this, folks. Holy my goodness. I'm so excited about this, I don't know what to say or do. Because I've been a Bud Light drinker my entire life, and once I left America, I could not get my hands on Bud Light or Chinese food, General Cho's Chicken. But, uh, folks, I've got, boom, pot nest, three Bud Lights. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there is a Santa Claus. And folks, I don't even want to show you what I'm about to pull out of this packet right here. But I got I to gotta pull it out. This is precious, precious cargo. Oh my goodness, folks. That's a Bud Light imported straight from the United States of America. My God. My God. And I'm putting it down here with care. Oh my goodness. Get in there. Get down to the appropriate temperature. And look what I got. Boom. Pot nest coming out. Bud Light number two, folks, there is, there is a Santa Claus, there is a guy, I just started believing in everything, I want you to take a look at them Bud Lights, oh my goodness, ladies, gentlemen, you just sit right here and get down to the appropriate temperature, you know, get that goddamn flower out of there, you know, I don't want that next to my Bud Lights, you, 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 you can sit down here. Folks, that's the most beautiful sight that I've ever seen since I left America. And if you watch any of my videos and you ask me, what do I miss about the United States of America? I mean, aside from my, my family, number one is Bud Light. Because I am a Bud Light drinker. I've always been a Bud Light drinker. But when you leave America and you come to Southeast Asia and the Middle East. You can't get Bud Light, my friends. My God. And I also miss Chinese food and General Cho's chicken and egg roll and crab rangoon. But I got to give a big shout out to my buddy. And, and we just got home for us G's a little fired up. But folks, my buddy just <laughs> just laid these three Bud Lights on me. I gotta give a big shout out to Todd. Todd, man, holy shit, man. This is like one of the best surprises. One of the best gifts. Um Holy shit, man. Thank you very much, Todd. 
And folks, I'm so excited about these Bud Lights. I may do a live stream of me drinking the first Bud Light. I'm not going to drink them all three because I'm going to savor these things. I am going to savor these as long as I can control myself. But my plan is tonight, I'm only going to drink one of these. And Forrest G's over here. Forrest G, take a look at these. These are Bud Lights, son. Now, we don't live in America right now. But those right there are Papa's favorite beer. So big shout out to Ty, man. Thank you very much, my brother. Thanks for thinking about me. Taking the time to stick these in your luggage and go through security. And run me down over here, man. I owe you. I, I can't describe my excitement about getting to smell and taste that familiar flavor right there. Because I was... Uh, a Bud Light drinker and since I left America I can't get Bud Light this will be the first Bud Light I've tasted in years and I may live stream it Todd thank you very much buddy yeah we gotta take him and folks we got an invitation to roll north up into Pangasi 9 tomorrow but of course she's got to get an immunization we're one week late so we can't mess that up yeah so we picked up Forrest G back at the crib Bay and Francis were there worried about us but I ran out of load I ran out of load and we were on the floating bar you know shit happens me and Forrest G chilling for Shambos my friends getting getting the pizza and um, if I didn't mind one in Hawaiian, I wanted a New Yorker. But what do we do? We 50-50 it. I think we 50-50 the 14-inch. My goodness. Hey, easy. Let me show you the menu. So I was looking at that pepperoni, and then I was looking at the New Yorker. But you know what? All the Philippines want this Hawaiian feast because it has... Hawaiian, or no, it has a uh, pineapples on it. So we did a 50 50, my friends. Whoa, dude, easy. What's going on over here? Aw, oh, sweet boy, he's getting sleepy, folks. He's getting sleepy, but he gotta eat some pizza before he goes to sleep. Tell him, boy, tell him about it. Look at this beautiful girl. My goodness, I love that girl. Look at that shambolies. That's a 14 inch half Hawaiian for my Filipina and a half New Yorker for me. That is absolutely delicious. And I'll entertain Forrest G while Filipina wife number one chows down. Oh, Forrest G. Whoa, it's hot, boy. So all the customers are left, not disturbing anybody. But Filipina wife number one is tearing up that Shambolis pizza. And Forrest G said that was delicious. He loves Shambolis pizza. My goodness. Good job, Forrest G. Alright, folks. Wife number one and Forrest G, they're full. It's time for me to chow down on this. It's my turn. Let's do it. Now, folks, great meal. 